For over 50 years I've been working in the science of crop production and my passion has always been about increasing wildlife alongside profitable agriculture. In this series I'll be exploring practical ways that farmers can reduce their carbon footprint, make best use of pesticides and help bring wildlife back to their farms. Something the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology have a deep interest in is how to make best use of farmland. Could we take out the less productive land, the more difficult to farm land, and give this over to wildlife? I'm on a farm in Oxfordshire to meet John Redhead from the Centre for Ecology and Hydrology, who's developed an app that enables farmers to more accurately place the habitats on their farm. I've been looking forward to today. You're going to show me some fancy app, some, some new bit of kit. Yep, that's the idea. It's a new bit of technology we've been developing and it's called ePlanner. And it's going to make me redundant? It's going to help you do your job. <laughs> oh, I see, right. Fine, fine, fine. Let's have a look then. Yeah, so what we've done is to create an app which is giving farmers the data they need to make their environmental decisions. So farmers are used to seeing all sorts of whizzy technology for making their agronomic decisions now. Yeah. Your precision yield maps, your variable rate maps. Yeah. And this is our effort to do an environmental equivalent to that. So tell me the habitats that it's focused on. So we've got four up at the moment. We've got flower-rich pollinator habitat, so that's your, your margins and your, your wildflower yeah. strips. Yeah. We've got uh, wild bird seed patches. We've got uh, woodland creation and we've got water resource protection, so that's your, your buffer strips. The app uses a heat map to rate the suitability of an area for different environmental actions. So if you can see the, uh, the green colouring on the map here, yep. that's down the bottom end of this field here where the land slopes away. And that's a really good opportunity for preventing any kind of runoff coming down this field and ending yes. up in that watercourse by creating some sort of um, buffer strip. So you get yep. tussocky grass margins, that sort of thing. You can use the e-planner in one of two ways. So you can either be sort of thinking, I've got an area in mind that I want to take out of production, which environmental option is the best mm. thing to do there instead? Yeah. Or you might actually have one environmental management option in mind. You might be thinking, actually, I really want to create pollinator habitat on my farm. So you can just look at the pollinator habitat map and say, well, which bits of the farm are best for that habitat creation? Is this going to cost me money? No, it's completely free. So anyone can access this online. Don't need to download anything. Don't need to sign up. That is just an amazing eye-opener. Yeah, that's something you must be really proud of.